Got a high-speed chase. Apparently, somebody uh, took a car. It started around 7 a.m., this red Ford Edge swerving between cars and blowing through red lights.
This morning, a little boy safe and a police officer is recovering after drama on the highways of Colorado. A man led authorities on a violent one-hour high-speed chase right in the middle of Wednesday morning's commute. And this guy is going like a rocket ship. The driver, Ryan Stone, had stolen the vehicle from this gas station. A frightened four-year-old boy was inside. His mother had just stopped for a cup of coffee. When out of the gas station, my car is gone. Eventually, Stone forced this minivan off the road. Getting into uh, another vehicle. He's he jumped another vehicle, and it is now going wrong way on eastbound I-76. Chopper pilot Matt Fess hovered above the scene. At times, we were doing about 105 knots or so, so that's approximately maybe 115 miles an hour, I'd say. But there's times where he was, you know, pulling away, and it was, he was definitely up there in speeds. As Stone led his pursuers on a 75-mile chase in and around Denver, the chopper, in effect, became the eyes in the sky for the police. Photographer Cody Crouch. You know, they're listening to the radio, they're watching TV as well, so that's how they're getting their information, just like everyone else. Police, in turn, were able to warn motorists already on the highway and block others from driving into danger. Oh, gosh, she's nearly missing people right and left. Perhaps the most frightening moment came when Stone struck Colorado State Trooper Bellaman He, who was trying to put down spikes. He was taken to a local hospital with serious injuries, but is expected to be okay. Stone's vehicle, now damaged, limped off the highway. Now the door is open, hits a car. He is now on foot. He is wearing a yellow and black raincoat. He's trying to get back in the vehicle. Now he's back in the car. Moments later, Stone rear-ended a black sedan and then sideswiped a silver Lexus. Now he's carjacking the other vehicle, throwing a young lady to the ground. She's fighting him. Now, in his third stolen vehicle, Stone caused this four-car accident. Now he's running over to one of the cars he hit. There's a police officer right there oh. with him. He is on foot. He is trying to run. Stone didn't get very far. He slipped on some ice, got thwarted by a fence, and then finally cornered by police. The suspect is on his stomach. This is over. The Call 7 investigators were first to inform you that Ryan Stone was a wanted man, a warrant for his arrest issued just last week. And 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live tracking down new details about Stone's run from the law. Marshall? And that warrant that he was wanted for was issued after he missed a court appearance here in Arapahoe County last Tuesday. We checked. Ryan Stone has had four run-ins with police this year, two arrests. And the Call 7 investigators confirmed that he was on the run after he missed a court date here on a previous drug arrest. Stone was supposed to be in court today for a drug charge, but that was unlikely after he skipped out on a court date last week. Documents obtained by Call 7 investigators show defendant fails to appear. Defendant left the courtroom prior to the case being called. That resulted in a warrant stating high-risk arrest known to possess weapon. Will tells us he talked with Stone on the phone after the warrant was issued. I said, what, what are you going to do? He said, I don't know, but all I know is I'm not going to do any more time. Will says he tried to reach Stone again but this is the message he heard on the voicemail. Uh, this phone is no longer going to be in use. If you need to get a hold of me, you probably get a hold of somebody who does have a number for me. In the last three days, authorities came here to Stone's parents' business near Centennial Airport on the report of a burglary and auto theft. You know, I talked to his parents briefly about him stealing the truck two nights ago. They assumed it was him just because whoever broke in, they had keys. Since Stone was supposed to be in court today for another case, that hearing still went on and his bond in that drug case increased here to $500,000, citing a flight risk and a danger to the community. And that's not taking into account any of the crimes he's accused of committing today. Now, this is one of the more frightening moments of the chase, a state trooper being hit by the speeding car as he jumps out of the way after putting down stop sticks on a 470 near Chambers. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is outside Littleton Adventist Hospital, where that trooper is now out of surgery. Lance? And Trooper Bellaman, he suffered a serious leg injury after he was struck by a van driven by that fleeing suspect. Now, he is out of surgery here at Littleton Adventist Hospital. We are told he is expected to make a full recovery. And it's amazing, Ann, when you think about it and you look at that video, you can't help but wonder, had that trooper been one second slower, his injuries might have been much more severe.
Man arrested for a wild car chase across the metro area, making his first court appearance. Ryan Stone going before a judge within the last two hours. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez in the courtroom. Good morning, Tyler. And as they left the courtroom today, friends of Ryan Stone seemed emotional, but they made no attempt to try to dispute his role in what happened Wednesday. We want everybody to know that no matter what the circumstances, we live in light and love, and we all deserve forgiveness. And I hope that everybody can take something from that. What does that mean? It means that we're all human, we we're all make all mistakes, mistakes, and we all deserve to be forgiven. Yeah, but that's a big mistake. We've all made mistakes. Let the person who is without sin cast the first stone. A super team of lawyers now have this case. That's how former Vail Area DA Mark Herbert described it. The joint prosecution squad between the Boulder and Douglas County DA's offices, with Douglas taking the lead. They're now watching this dramatic video themselves, trying to determine just how many victims need to be contacted, then pursuing the appropriate charges for each one of them. Ryan Stone now facing four counts, first degree attempted murder, kidnapping, assault and car theft. He did speak in court answering all the questions asked by the judge in a raspy voice. He walked without a limp and didn't appear to be injured. His bond remains at three and a half million dollars. Even if he posts that, he can't drive, drink alcohol or take drugs. He would have to wear a GPS monitor as well. Now we talked about the four counts he faces. Now we expect those numbers to jump dramatically when he comes back to court on Wednesday for the formal filing of all charges. Hey, did you know I made the news in the UK and Australia? What? Yeah, my lawyer told me I made the news in the UK and Australia. If you type in Grand Theft Auto on YouTube, my shit comes up first. You're ridiculous. How do you even <laughs> manage? How do you manage that? I made the news in the UK and Australia. I know it's nothing to laugh about, but I mean, like, it's like. Who else do you know that's made the news in Australia, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, my lawyer, says that she's just uh, you know, hearing about it on when it's all taking place on uh, on uh, KS1075. And uh, she goes, you know, if you Google, mm -hmm. if you YouTube, oh, yeah. Grand that's Theft Auto, all the that's what everybody says, Grand Theft Auto. So I told him, hey, so I, if I Google, like, uh, I told him, well, if it makes a million mm -hmm. hits, you get paid by YouTube. So, uh, Channel 7 News, I believe, is going to be the one that gets paid for that? Well, um, I'm going to contact Channel 7 News or have you contact Channel 7 News or somebody, a lawyer. Tell me, hey, look, I want to get paid. You guys aren't getting paid using my name and my video footage as my evidence, and I'm not getting paid. I'm getting paid. You, you know, it's what's crazy is like, when, when did they decide that it was worth chasing me? Where, I don't know. where did the logic come in chasing me? Past a certain point. You know what I mean? Like, you are endangering how yeah. many lives yeah. just in you guys chasing me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Where is the logic? Why it even had to come to this? So. Whatever. Everybody knows where I'm so now, though. <laughs> I know. Hey, everybody's like, everybody's like, it was like, hey, fool. I'm not gonna say this publicly or anything, <laughs> but you can fucking drive. <laughs> Even the cops in here are like, yeah. Hey, I still do the same thing. Drive, so. When you're in the minivan, no, like the whole thing, and you're yeah. like on and off the highways, swerving like an incoming traffic, I was like, damn, that fool can drive. <laughs> I thought it was gonna roll so many times. Dude. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. It's just gonna picture your face. <laughs> You get to see two very different faces of this car thief. On the left, Ryan Stone bragging about his crimes to a female visitor in jail. <laughs> My lawyer told me I made the news in the UK and Australia. If you type in Grand Theft Auto on YouTube, my comes up first. That's convicted felon Ryan Stone during a jailhouse phone call a week after his arrest, bragging about his deed. Driver Ryan Stone hoped to profit from his internet fame after the video was posted online. You get paid by YouTube. So, uh, Channel 7 News, I believe, is going to be the one that gets paid for that. Well, um, I'm going to contact Channel 7 News. Today in court? 
he had a different tone. What they didn't play is the ones that do show remorse. What they didn't play is the ones that, where you're sitting on the phone and you're crying. Stone apologized to Trooper He and to others, but he didn't accept responsibility for his actions. Instead, he blamed it on drugs and asked the judge for leniency. I pray you leave me time to start a family of my own with my beautiful wife. The DA said Stone didn't deserve leniency, that since 2003, there's not been a minute of his life where he wasn't on bond, in jail or prison, or on some type of probation. This guy is a menace, and he is gone from us now, and we are better for it. During his sentencing in court, Stone made an apology, yet wouldn't take responsibility, blaming his escapade on drugs. He asked the judge to give him a break. Stone had five previous felonies on his record before this chase took place. As for Trooper He, he says if his doctor and the state patrol allow him, he'll go back to work in December. He says that would be a nice Christmas present. Damn, son, where'd you find this?